My name is Linda Lepcha. I'm the founding director of my company called Holistic Training Solutions. If you ask me why and how did I become a trainer, uh, I think it all started with uh, the passion. I really love being uh, with people, uh, teaching them, and uh, being able to help people to do things better, faster, to grow within themselves. So I think that's one of the great joys of being a trainer. I'm here today really to uh, run a program on advanced leadership for women, the Tibetan Women's Association. And uh, what we're doing here is something very important because these are women who come from the Tibetan community and they go back taking them some of the leadership skills that they can use in their families as well as uh, in their jobs. I started uh, in uh, Darjeeling doing my college and then I went to XLRI Jamshedpur where I uh, did my postgrad in human resources. Though my first job was in sales, so I did a year of hardcore field sales selling pharmaceuticals to doctors. Uh, but um, I didn't find, uh, you know, it was not a fulfilling job so I went back to human resources and I joined Citibank and during that time I had the opportunity to go and train as a trainer. I got a lot of chances, I was very lucky, and I made the best use of those chances. Uh, one of the skills that you really need to be as a trainer is knowledge of the job and also trying to understand the subject matter, so you need some experience of what you're training about. For example, today I'm talking about leadership and uh, how you can become a great leader in the community. So here, it's very important to have this experience of a leader and you must have had that uh, skill also to demonstrate so that you can teach it to others as well. One of the important things uh, is attitude, okay? If you have a positive attitude, you like relating to people and uh, most importantly, if you are open uh, to listening and open to learning, then uh, you can be a good trainer. Uh, I will celebrate all the small, so My message to you uh, as a young Tibetan is um, be a trainer and you don't have to have a management degree or you don't have to have fantastic skills. What I want or what we want as a community is if you know how to learn, if you know how to sing, go and teach someone to sing, train people to sing. If you know how to dance, go and train and that becomes a trainer. Whatever you know, you, you know, you might know knitting, go and teach someone and that's how you start your uh, career as a trainer. And get that experience, whatever you do, don't think a job is small or menial. Or don't think, oh, I can't be a shopkeeper because me, I was a shopkeeper for many years and really helped me. Uh, my mother used to spell, sell small curios and sweaters. Go and do it because that's an experience that no one can give you. No, no college degree will give you or a school degree will give you. The thing is you have a skill, you learn that skill and you teach a skill. I, I think that's really good. Yeah.